Ida B. Chapter 31. I suppose it would seem real nice if Claire and I got together on Monday and started chatting and playing dodgeball and decided we were twins separated at birth and would be best friends for the rest of our lives, living right down the road from each other. But we didn't. I guess she looked at me more or she didn't avoid looking at me so, mu so much and I wasn't watching her out of the corners of my eyeballs anymore. We'd even say hi, but no names if we ended up face to face with each other. The good thing was I didn't feel bad when I saw her. I was still sorry for what I'd done, but I didn't think I was due any torment or torture for it. If Claire wanted to, that was her business, but I wasn't looking for it. At recess on Monday, Miss W stopped by my spot on the steps like always. Anything you want to talk about, Ida? She asked, just like always. No, ma'am, I said, but this time I looked straight at her and I smiled. She looked into my eyes like she was checking to make sure the smile had its roots deep down inside of me. All right, then, she smiled back and moved on. Do you want to play dodgeball, Ida? Ronnie asked me for the 114th time on the Thursday after Ida B's weekend of apologies. Now, I don't know why people like Ronnie keep on trying, especially with people like me who are so good at saying no. And it almost makes me wonder if that part of his brain that had a hard time learning the times tables had a hard time learning when to take no for an answer. Mama would say he is persistent, and many days I found that quality of his burdensome. On that particular day, however, I found his perseverance to be something I was almost grateful for, if I let myself admit it. But I couldn't be too agreeable too quickly. Who's playing, I asked. Just about everybody. See them all over there? Whose team would I be on? You could be on mine if you want. Is whipping the ball allowed? I knew it wasn't because I'd been watching those kids play for weeks, but I was pretending to be weighing my options carefully. No. If I don't like it, can I quit after one game? Sure. What if the ball hits my shoe and the ground at the same time? Am I out? I don't know. Now, here's another thing about Ronnie and the quality of his. And that quality of his. By the time most people would have had enough of me and my questions and just moved on. Sorry, I think I messed that up. By that time, most people would have had enough of me and my questions and just moved on. But Ronnie hung, and he wore, hung on and he wore me out. I ran out of questions. Okay, I said, not letting my voice sound too excited. And Ronnie's so smart in some ways, he didn't act surprised or happy. He just walked over to the game with me, but not too close. And she got me out right away. Tina Politi did, because I'd never played dodgeball before, I guess. Something happened to me when I got out there, so I just stood there watching the ball come right at me and did nothing. It hit me in the belly and dropped to the ground, and Tina yelled, You're out! And I went and sat on the side of the lot until the game was over. But I did better in the second game, and by the end of recess, I believed I could grow to become a dodgeball player of great skill and fame.